Hello. A couple of big changes in our weather patterns likely over the next 10 days or so. And yes, that does mean we are likely to see some wet weather. The bigger picture, though, showing the settled conditions we have at the moment. The reason why? We've got the jet stream way up to the north, taking low pressure systems up across Iceland and to the south of it, allowing this high to dominate. It's been with us all week and it will continue to stick around. But um, slow changes will introduce some significant changes as we head towards Friday and Saturday in particular. Notice this kind of arm of the jet stream develops a bit of an easterly high up in the sky and that will start to change things a little and then we'll see a bigger change as that introduces low pressure. Coming up from the south and the high kind of waddles away up to the north and the east and this low pressure heading in is going to introduce much more in the way of showers, some heavy ones likely this weekend across the south, although much of the north will still stay dry. Let's rewind the clock and look at the next couple of days because with the high pressure in control, we've still got an easterly breeze. So just like on Wednesday morning, we'll see the cloud coming back in to start Thursday and then it should melt back to the coast. Parts of the east coast may stay a bit grey and then that easterly wind will blow that cloud back inland overnight, generating another fairly cloudy start to Friday. Notice all the while with an easterly wind, it's Northern Ireland or Western Scotland favoured for clearer skies. So generally speaking, the weather patterns are kind of stuck for the next few days. This is the chart for Friday. So it's, it's similar to Wednesday in that the high pressure is up to the north and east. The low is not really with us at this stage. and We've got an easterly wind, but this is what's going on at the surface. There's something stirring higher up. We're starting to see that little arm of the jet stream develop. And this chart shows that actually colder air is moving in high up. This is uh, the temperature profile, but not at the surface at 500 hectopascals, around five and a half kilometers up in the sky. And you can see the blues here. That's a cold pool that's moving in across southern Britain high in the sky. And what that does it allows the air to rush up more readily. We know that warm air rises, but if you introduce colder air higher up, then that warmer air is going to rise more quickly and uh, faster rising air generates more in the way of showers. And this is what we call a cold pool, and that is going to generate, say, some pretty heavy showers during Friday. So it generally starts dry, but as that colder air moves in higher up, look at these showers getting going across uh, the Midlands, South Wales and Southern England. Now, it's going to be showery, so it's going to be hit and miss, but some heavy downpours are likely, rumbles of thunder, even if you hail stones. Further north, the weather's generally set fair. We've still got the easterly wind, so parts of the east coast likely to stay a, a, a bit grey, but it'll be western Scotland and parts of Northern Ireland that stay fine and dry. Not quite as warm as earlier in the week, but temperatures could still get into the high teens or low twenties here. By the time we get to the weekend, it's not just what's going on high up that's destabilizing things, but low pressure even at the surface is moving in. And that's going to bring some further heavy downpours, increasing risk of thunderstorms on Saturday. And then this weather front may well bring some more persistent rain by the time we get to Sunday. Details of exactly where these weather fronts lie and where this low pressure sits. Still open to a little bit of doubt. This is the ensemble, the, the postage stamps uh, as they're known, when we run the computer model many, many times. This is showing the rainfall building up throughout the 24 hours of Saturday. Now you probably can't pick out much detail there, but if we zoom in, we can see that they're all telling a, a similar story with the brighter colors, the reds and the pinks indicating some heavy rain likely close to or across the southwest. But notice there are a couple of members, a couple of these postage stamps where the, the rain isn't across the UK, it's further south, number 23 there and behind me, number 11 as well. But most of them do have some heavy rain across parts of Wales and southwest England in particular. So a bit of uncertainty about the detail, but we are likely to see some heavy and thundery showers across the south into the weekend. All the while likely to stay pretty good across western Scotland, dry and bright with sunny spells and much of Northern Ireland too. And all the while, that easterly wind will continue to bring some mist and low cloud along parts of the east coast. So that's the weather set up through the uh, weekends. Could we see uh, a bigger change as we go into next week? The jet stream still in evidence way to the north of the UK, but weakening. It's what's going on out in the Atlantic. That's likely to mix things up 
as we go through next week. We're getting a more of a classic jet stream, if you like, picking up. These are the winds high up in the sky, remember, where the jet planes fly, and the, the jet stream tends to steer low pressure systems. And it's getting more lively and it's getting more south shifted. So that's likely to bring low pressure systems our way. And this is uh, the pressure pattern from the European model for next Tuesday, showing quite a potent looking area of low pressure down to the south and west of the UK, likely to be developing out in the Atlantic, but still could bring us a spell of wet and windy weather at some point through the year. Uh, early to middle part of next week. Now, the low pressure that's bringing us the rain and the showers in the south this weekend, that's likely to be clearing away at this stage. So actually there may be a window on Tuesday where much of the UK is fine before this weather system arrives. But it's likely that low pressure will then continue to dominate our weather through much of next week. This is the most likely setup. Uh, for Wednesday of next week with low pressure sitting pretty much slap bang over the UK, showing some pretty heavy rain likely. And again, this is a more south shifted low pressure, so the south more susceptible in this setup to wet and windy spells. And even the most likely pressure pattern, uh, pressure anomaly I should say on this chart for Thursday shows low pressure sitting to the east of the UK. Now maybe it's just one area of low pressure or it may be a number when the jet stream's that active, we could see more of them spinning up. But all in all, well, low pressure is this close to the UK, it is likely to generate spells of wet and windy weather. And this chart is showing that strong flip in wind directions that we're going to see. With the high pressure nearby, we've got easterly winds at the moment. Now, this isn't the high, low pressure that we often show in the 10-day trend. This is the zonal trend. This is basically telling us what flavor the weather is in terms of easterly or westerly winds, where Red is easterly and blue is westerly. These are the dates going forward along the top. These are the previous computer model runs. And look at that solid red for the easterly winds that we're pretty confident going to uh, be the big feature of our weather for the next few days. And then we see that flip into the early part of next week, Monday, Tuesday, and then for the second half of next week, we're into the blues. So westerly winds much more likely through the second half of uh, next week. So we're going to see that change. We've got westerly winds we're much more likely to see spells of wet weather coming in from the Atlantic. So certainly from Monday onwards, much more changeable look to next week. There may be some fine spells, but generally speaking, low pressure nearby, some heavy rain is likely, and some gusty winds are also possible too. For the day-to-day -day details, as you go through next week, please do stay up to date with the latest forecast. And of course, as we see those heavy showers developing across the south over the next few days, keep up to date with that as well through our app and our websites. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe.